Hey guys, welcome back to another declutter, another vlog. I really don't know how today's decluttering is gonna go because we are getting into products that are very near and dear to my heart and they're also like powder products which don't go bad as quickly as like my last declutter, the products in there. They were like foundations and concealers and liquid products, cream products. Um, so I'm gonna try and be as ruthless as possible. So anyway, today we're gonna get into face palettes. We're gonna get into like large palettes that don't fit anywhere else <laughs> that are in this one drawer. And I'm hoping to also do bronzers and highlights and maybe blushes. We'll see how quickly I can do it. I really like flew through my previous declutter because I really just wanted to make some like quick decisions because they're, they're always hard. <laughs> None of these decisions are easy. I love all of my makeup. I really only keep makeup that I really love. So, Let's do this. All right, we're back to this drawer system. So we did one, two, three, the top four drawers, and we're gonna hit the bottom two drawers now. All right, so this drawer is like my absolute favorite drawer. So I know I'm not gonna be getting rid of too much from here. These are all of my face palettes. I love face palettes. <laughs> I think you guys know that. I love anything with like highlighter, blush, and bronze in there. Um, so I'll be keeping all of my uh, Tom Ford Soleil Contouring Compacts. This is the Afternooner. This is the first one that came out and I just love it. It's like perfect for my skin tone. Uh, it just works beautifully. I actually just used it the other day so I know it's still good. So I'll be keeping that one. This one is number three Nude Glow. This one is number two Soleil Afterglow. And then this one is Basque. So I'll be keeping all of those. I am also going to be keeping all of these Tom Ford face palettes. These are the Soleil Eye and Cheek palettes. This is from winter 2018. This is Soleil D'Ombre. This one is Solar Exposure. This one is number two Warm. And this one is Violet Argente. And these are three of the newer ones that came out. They all have that baked gelé formula. So this one is Rose Cashmere. I think this is my favorite out of the three that I have. This one is Red Harness. And this one is Moonlit Violet. The highlight in this one is stunning. And then I have these Natasha Denona um, Glow Palettes. So this one is the Bronze and Glow Palette. I love all of these as well, so I'm not gonna be getting rid of any of these. I told you this drawer is definitely not gonna be a great one. Um, this is the Bronze Cheek Face Glow Palette. This one was the first one she came out with. This one is the Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. And then this one is the Love Glow Cheek Palette. I think she just came out with a new one of this that I will be picking up as soon as it's available. We do have some of these By Terry um, Sun Designer palettes. I really love these too, but I feel like I need to let go of some of these because they are limited edition and I don't think they are all available anymore. This one I believe is my favorite. This is the Happy Sun. It's very, very uh, nude and neutral. So I love it. It just kind of works, you know, with any look that you're doing. So I'm definitely keeping that one. This one is Hippie Chic. This one is a lot of fun. Actually, let me open up these other ones here so we can see. This one is Tropical Sunset. So this one's a little bit newer than this one. And this one is Savannah Love, Oof, which I really, really love. Um, Okay, let's see. You know what, I'm just gonna keep the two newer ones. It's the two palettes that have this chevron patterning on there. And I'm going to declutter these two, even though I love them very much, um, but they're old. I don't think they're for sale anymore. So yeah, I'm gonna declutter these. I have a couple of Viseart face palettes that I really love. So I'm gonna hold on to these. This one is Plum Bronze. It's just gorgeous, look at those shades. And then this one is the um, highlight and sculpt palette. So we've got highlighting and some sculpting powders there. Really gorgeous. And then I have this Tom Ford Pink Glow um, palette that I never wanna use because this was, well, this is very, very old. It's like a collector's piece for me, basically. And it is this guy. Isn't that just 
such a beautifully designed compact. I, I just love it. So anyway, I'm just going to hold on to this. Again, it's just a collector's piece for me. And I believe this came out when Charlotte Tilbury was the creative director for Tom Beauty, and she designed this one. Then we've got this Guerlain face palette. I forgot I had this. I love the highlighters here. I mean, they are so incredible, but I don't know if it's worth keeping it for the whole thing. I mean, the whole palette is great, but I only ever think of these highlights when I think of this palette. You know, I have so many amazing highlights. I'm just going to declutter this. All right, we have two Danessa Myricks waterproof cream palettes that I haven't even used yet. I need to do like a shot my stash. Um, so I'm definitely holding on to these. I have some of the newer Suku face palettes. These are relatively new, so I'm gonna be holding on to these. This one is the number 102. And then this one I believe is 101, yeah. So here is 101. And then here is a Clay de Poe like customizable palette. So you can put in one of their quads and one of their blush duos. So I made this quite some time ago, but I'm definitely gonna hold on to this because if those products ever go bad, I can just swap them out. So anyway, holding on to that. This Addiction palette, um, I'm never gonna let go of because I um, purchased this in Japan when I was there. I'm trying to think, I think I got this in Hiroshima. Yeah, by the train station. Anyway, um, I love it. I love the colors. I love like all the different products that are in here. This blush. Um, this is a cream product in here. These are like cake products. Anyway, I absolutely love this palette. So I'm going to hold on to this. And Addiction is a Japanese makeup brand. And then here is a Suku face palette from, well, this was when they turned 15. I think this was, um, Maybe not last year, but 2019. I'm really getting all my years mixed up. Um, so I think this was from 2019. And I did like a Lunar New Year look with this palette. And, you know, it's very pink and red heavy. And it was just such a fun, uh, fun look to do. So anyway, I'm going to hold on to this. I've got these two um, Spashbox Cali Contour palettes. This is actually the Ablaze face palette. I really love this face palette. Um, so I'm going to hold on to this, but I'm going to declutter this one. It's, um, it works for my skin tone, but I definitely reach for the other one more. This has like really beautiful punchy, um, blushes, but I have a lot of blushes in this shade. So I'm going to declutter this, this makeup forever. I am going to declutter. I never use these products. Um, I liked them when I first got them, but yeah, they just kind of didn't stay on my mind, I guess you could say. So I'm going to declutter this. This Laura Mercier face palette, ooh, one of my pans popped out, um, is one of my favorite face palettes. I just, I love all the products in here. I love the formula of these powders. It's their really interesting formula. Like they feel really hard pressed in the pan, but they're not hard to pick up and the pigmentation is beautiful. Anyway, I'm definitely gonna be holding on to this. And then I have these um, loose powders that I got uh, when I traveled to Japan, but I got them at the airport. I think I got them at Narita. These are like Guerlain meteorites. They're kind of like travel versions. And I feel like this could be like the blush version that just came out that I did not get my hands on. So I need to look into it a little bit further, but this is the Zero Zero Blush Traveling Pearls. I don't know if you guys can see that. Zero Zero. Um, so definitely holding on to that. And then this is two Claire Light uh, of their Meteorites, which I do have in the regular tin, but I just love this packaging. I think it's so much fun. And then they had these basically like loose highlights. So they had Golden Shimmer and Mythic. And look how cute these are. And they have like the little sponge top there. So I wish Guerlain would just include this as part of their regular line but i think these are like all part of some sort of traveling collection that i think you can only get at airports so anyway definitely holding on to these these are definitely very nostalgic and like the collector in me wants to hold on to them then we have all of the charlotte tilbury instant look in a palette so this one is gorgeous glowing beauty i don't think i'm getting rid of any of these because I have all of them and every time she comes out with one, it's really nice to do comparisons for you guys. So here's one. The next one is Stoned Rose Beauty. This is a gorgeous one. This one is Beauty Glow. I think this one could be my favorite. I love that cheek color. Here is Smoky Eye Beauty. 
I'm not the biggest fan of this one. I don't think that black is very black and this highlight is very yellow. This is like their like gold bar highlight. Um, and then everything else is so bland. I don't know. I just felt like this was kind of a weird palette. But anyway, that is the smoky eye one. This one is the seductive beauty. This is the one that came out second. And this one's okay. And here is the very first one that came out, Natural Beauty. Yeah, this one is very, very basic. So I am gonna hold on to all of those. Actually, let me move the camera. There we go. Here's the rest of the drawer here. This by Terry um, Brightening CC Palette in One Sunny Flash. I love, 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 love this palette. So I am going to be keeping this. These Glowgasm Face Palettes, this is Lightgasm from Charlotte Tilbury, really beautiful. Here is Lovegasm, this is the deeper one, which I thought would be too deep for me, but I actually prefer this one to the other one. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna be keeping both of these. And then here is the Glowy Pretty Skin Palette. This was like a Nordstrom exclusive for a while, and then I believe it's, you know, it kinda came out as part of the Charlotte Tilbury line. You know, this palette is okay, it is very, very basic, I think. You know, obviously for everyday use, I think this is a great one. So I'm gonna hold on to this. And then I have a bunch of NARS um, palettes. So I put the Claudette one in here because this has, it's basically a blush duo, but I can use this as a bronzer. Anyway, um, I just got this and I really love it. So I'm gonna hold on to this. And then I have a bunch back here. So this one is the Overlust Cheek Palette. Um, this one is gorgeous. I'm gonna hold on to this. This one is, oh, Hot Nights. Oh, I loved these. Oh, wow. I kind of forgot about these, but these are gorgeous. So I'm gonna hold on to these. This one is Summer Nights. This one is really beautiful too. And then this one is Atomic Blonde. I liked this one too, but I think maybe I can let this one go. I think this was limited edition. I don't think they make this anymore, so I think I'm going to declutter this one. We have the Becca Chrissy Teigen one. I'm laughing because this one has lasted through a lot of declutters, but I think I'm finally gonna get rid of it. It's quite old, and I was only holding on to it for like this one highlight, which again, I have tons of highlights, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. Let's see, I have this Chanel, oh, the Voyage de Chanel. This is the one with the four quadrants. This one is, it's okay. I. I never really use it. I think I'm actually gonna declutter this. And it's the like little quadrants here are really, really small and it's just not very, it's just not very practical. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. And then I have all of these um, Dior Backstage palettes. Um, I'm gonna hold on to this one just for this contour powder. I love it so much. This is one of the original ones. This is the contour palette. And I love this contour light powder. So I'm gonna hold on to that. And then these three are new. And then this is the Glow Face Palette that kind of came out um, a little bit earlier than, than these three. Um, I love this peach color here. It has such an incredible sheen. It's not as micro glittery as these other ones. So I'm gonna hold on to it for that shade. And then these are the three that I pretty much just got. The, <laughs> the pans of these just keep coming out. Do you see that? I have to like, keep pressing them in there. Um, but this color family I love, this one I really love, although this one is a little bit too deep for me, but these colors are really beautiful and rich. And yeah, I like these shades here too. So I'm gonna hold on to all of these. And then we have um, a whole bunch of Hourglass face palettes. So this one, actually this one's a blush palette. This only has uh, blushes in there. I really love this palette. So I'm gonna hold on to this. And then let's see, we have the Ambient Lighting Edit Sculpture palette. I really enjoy this one as well. I think this is the newest one. And then they had the Ghost palette. Um, and then this one is my all time favorite. I think, I think we all love this one. This is the Unlocked. I always forget the names of all of these. So definitely holding on to this one. I'll hold on to Sculpture because that's the newest. And then we have Ghost and Volume 3. Let's see here. So these two are fairly similar. So I'm going to hold on to 
Sculpture, and then Declutter Volume 3. I feel like the top row is almost the same in these two, and that blush is almost the same. Yeah, I think I can declutter this ghost one, too. All right, and then finally, we have some really large face palettes back here. So I purchased this, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, Ro Rodial? Rodial face palette because they are really, really known for their like contour powders and that banana powder. And I just haven't used it. I think I got this on sale at like Space NK or something. Anyway, I have not gotten a chance to use this contour powder and the banana powder as much as I would like to. So I'm going to hold on to this. Um, it is fairly large and it is taking up a little bit of space, but it is kind of flat. So anyway, I'm going to hold on to it because I really have not gotten a chance to use it as much as I would like. Um, I'm going to hold on to my Natasha Denona diamond and blush palettes. I, I really, really love these. I, I'm always like so surprised when I see them in the sale section at Sephora, but they're just gorgeous. I mean, they're really large and unwieldy, but I love the products in here. I mean, they're just so much fun. And then I do have her Sculpt and Glow palette. And I think this is just too old at this point. It's about four years old. And I think the last time I tried to use the contour powder, it was like just a little bit too dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. All right, so that's my face palette uh, drawer. Let me go ahead and put everything back and we can move on to the next drawer. There is that drawer. It definitely feels a little bit lighter and looser. And these are all of the face palettes that I'm going to be decluttering. So next, let's move into my large palette drawer. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting rid of too much in this drawer, but uh, let's see. So this Adept Cosmetics palette, this has all of my Surat shadows and blushes. So I will not be getting rid of this. You're gonna have to pry this out of my dead cold hands. I have a bunch of Private Society um, like highlighter and blush palettes. So here is one highlighter palette. Here is the other one. I do really love these highlighter palettes. I do reach for this one a lot more. I think I'm just gonna hold on to this one because the ones that I feel like I would use in this one that would work for my skin tone I find here like this star cross is very similar to Illuminati. Um, the money maker is very similar to trophy wife. These two are kind of similar the pink haze and the bad. Haze. So yeah. And then these two, I think are a little bit too deep for me. This one too. So yeah, I think I'm going to declutter this one and keep that one. And then they do have this blush palette secret admirer. Um, which has like two toppers here and then six shades. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. It's very pretty. I have my Natasha Denona Metropolis palette, which I love. I'm gonna hold on to that. I have my Viseart Grand Pro palettes. I love these. You guys know how much I love Viseart palettes. So I'm gonna be holding on to this. This is volume one. Here is volume two. And here is volume three, which is like like a continuation of volume one because these are all mattes. Volume one and volume three are all mattes. Volume two has like the shimmers. The Artist Couture Supreme Nudes palette. Now I love the shades in here and I love the way that these shadows applied, but they had a lot of fallout for me. They, you know, had fallout when I applied them and then throughout the day, it was just like more and more like shadow just ended up on my face. So I've been meaning to give this another shot, you know, just to see if maybe it was just kind of like bad luck that first time I used it. Um, and I just haven't gotten a chance. So I think I'll hold on to this just to see if I can play around with it a little bit more because this is really a beautiful uh, palette. Just, I love the color story. This Supreme shade is just, ugh, so gorgeous. So I'm gonna hold on to that for now. Definitely gonna be holding on to my Tiny Marvels palette. This is the collab um, that Mel Thompson did with Sydney Grace. Just absolutely love it. My two Natasha Denona 28 pan palettes. You guys know how much I love these. This is the purple blue one. 
This one is the green brown one, which is probably one of my all time favorite eyeshadow palettes. Just love it. This Danessa Myricks highlight palette is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So definitely holding on to this. This ABH Norvina palette, I just bought on a whim. I thought maybe it could be fun just to do some fun looks, but the reality is <laughs> all I've done is swatch it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, find a new home for this guy. And then I have these two Il Maquillage eyeshadow palettes, which are lovely, but I never ever use these. So I think it's time for me to let these go. But they are really beautiful shadows. They're, they're really creamy. They do kind of suffer from a hard pan a little bit when you get into those metallic shades. Actually, I think you can see it on that gold shade there. Um, so I'm just going to declutter these. I just, yeah, I just never use them. Here's the other one. I mean, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous, but yeah, I just never use them. And then I have some like single shadows. This is actually my Melt Cosmetics like big palette where I keep some of my stacks. So I'm gonna hold on to that. And then I have these Tarte Magnetic palettes that I love. And these are some Tom Ford products. So this is a Tom Ford quad. And then this was one of those duos, like the Shade and Illuminate duos. So I'm gonna hold on to that. This one has some Viseart shadows on the bottom. And then this is a mixture of, I believe, ColourPop, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and then some Feather River Body. I think these four are Feather River Body before she changed her name to Sydney Grace. I think as far as these single shadows go, I'm just gonna have to go through them and just keep the ones that I feel like I'm gonna use, but I really never reach for these. So anyway, I think my single shadows are something I need to think about, um, but I'm not gonna do anything with today. I think these are all ColourPop. And then these are all old Makeup Forever. So before they went to the square pans, um, I got a bunch of these. And then I have that one JLo brick when she did her collaboration with Inglot. All right, so that's it for this big palette drawer. And I only got rid of these uh, four palettes. So the two Il Maquillage, the ABH, and then this Glow Getter from Private Society. All right, so next we are moving over to my drawers over here on my shelf. This is such a mess. Do you see like all the products that I have on top? It's because I don't have room for them in here. So I'm hoping to uh, get to at least some of these drawers here. So that top one right there is blush, um, that's blush, that's bronzer, bronzer, highlight, highlight, and then the rest of these are like eyeshadows and pencils and stuff. So what I would like to do is get to those blush drawers, bronzer, and highlight drawers today. Okay, so here is my first blush drawer. You guys know this is going to be really hard for me. I love blushes. Again, we're dealing with powder products, so I don't think any of these are necessarily bad, but let's just go through these uh, quickly. I've got my NARS blushes here. This one is an Exhibit A, which you guys know I just uh, purchased, so I'm going to hold on to that. This one is Tempted, which I absolutely love, so I'm holding on to that. Here is Impassioned, which is a really awesome, cool-toned blush. Uh, let me see what else I have here. This one is Madly, which I absolutely love as well. This one is old though. Let's see, what else do I have? And then I have Thrill, which is relatively new. It's a very cool toned, like bright bubble gum. Okay, I'm gonna definitely hold on to Thrill because that's relatively new. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to Madly. You know what, this is gonna go into the maybe pile. <laughs> Uh, we have two of the Erdem collab blushes. I just, I love Erdem. I loved this collection so much, um, even though these are hard to get a hold of. I don't think actually they're for sale at all, but it's Loves Me and Loves Me Not. I'm actually gonna hold on to the Loves Me Not um, because the collector in me wants to hold on to this anyway, and it's similar to Impassioned. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter Impassioned. Oh, I have this Ofra blush duo from Samantha March. So I definitely have to keep this. I love Samantha. This is a beautiful blush. This Natasha Denona Diamond and Glow. I'm gonna get rid of this. This Dior Backstage Rosy Glow blush in Coral, I am definitely going to hold on to because I love this. I love this blush, the formula, the color, and I definitely wanna get the pink one. This Givenchy Prism blush in the shade 03 Spice. 
This is a gorgeous blush. Definitely gonna hold on to this as well. This RMS blush in Lost Angel. I love this shade. I love it. It has a little bit of sheen to it and I just haven't gotten a chance to use it. So I'm gonna hold on to this as well. The Persona blushes, these have like a fairly matte kind of finish to them. So I don't reach for them that often. They are really pretty. It's kind of like a, a demi matte kind of finish. I'm gonna hold on to these a little bit longer because these are like relatively new. So one is Caramel, one is Georgia. I wanna say I got these last summer. So I'm gonna hold on to those. Wow, I'm doing terribly right now. <laughs> the Natasha Denona Duo Glows. This one is in Alba. So it's like a peachier one. And then this one is in Rayo. These are gorgeous. So I'm gonna hold on to those. Um, here is a blush and glow. I'm gonna hold on to that, that's beautiful. Here are two Nabla blushes. These are relatively new. This one is Lola, which I need to actually use these. And this one is Independence. So these are like a baked gelée formula, just stunning. So I'm gonna hold on to those. <laughs> Oh, this is going great. Okay, I have some Kosas uh, Color and Light Press. This one is Contra Chroma. This one is Contra Chroma High Intensity. This one I think I'm going to declutter because this is meant for deeper skin tones, so it's a little bit uh, too deep for me. So I'm gonna declutter that. And then this one is Longitude Zero, which is really beautiful. So I'm gonna hold on to these two. And then here are some Dior blushes. So I know already that I'm gonna be keeping uh, 219 Rose Montaigne. And this is the one that I've been raving about for months now. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Um, I have some of the Color Games blushes. These are the limited edition ones. This one is like a coral. And this one is like a pink. Um, I really love these, um, but these were limited editions. So I'm gonna hold on to this pink one, but because I have this coral blush, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, declutter this coral blush. And then I have all of these other ones. So this one is New World. This one is Hollow Glam. This one is Dior Rouge. This is the 999. And then this is the Golden Knights. This was their uh, like holiday limited edition, had that snowflake pattern on there. So I'm definitely gonna hold on to this because this is relatively new. I'm definitely gonna hold on to this because this is fairly unique. I think I'm going to declutter Hollow Glam because it has a lot of micro glitters in there, which I'm not the biggest fan of. It's pretty when I'm in the mood for it, but I'm not gonna use this on the daily. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that. Uh, New World has sort of the same thing as Hollow Glam. Okay, I think I'm going to uh, declutter this one as well. And then I have this Melt uh, Blush Light in Nevermore. These are so beautiful, so I'm holding on to that. And then I have a ton of these Laura Mercier Blush Color Infusion blushes and I just, oh, I love these. So this one is Fresco, which is definitely my favorite. It is like a nude shade with some shimmers in there. So I'm gonna hold on to that. And then we have Rosé, Strawberry, Sangria, Ginger, Grapefruit, and Peach. And I did just pick up two more which are sitting over there, which I'm definitely not gonna get rid of because I just got them. So I'm definitely gonna hold on to Peach and um, grapefruit. These colors are so beautiful to me. I think I'm going to uh, declutter Sangria. That's this deeper shade here. I think this is meant for deeper skin tones. So I'm gonna declutter that. And well, I think I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep all of these. There's just, they're so beautiful and I love the formula. So I'm gonna hold on to all of those. And then over here, okay, we have some Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palettes. This one has Surreal Glow, Luminous Flush and Mood Exposure. And then I have this one, which is, oh, this one I really, really love. Oh, and then I have some singles here. Okay, let me see. So this one is Sublime Flush. This was in one of those um, face palettes that we just went through. I really love this shade though, and I purchased this not realizing it was in one of those face palettes. So I'm gonna hold on to that. And oh, this one is At Night, which is a really unique kind of like deep brick red. So I'm gonna hold on to this as well. And then as far as these are concerned, 
you know, I really, I really, really love this one. So I'm going to hold on to this one and I'm going to declutter this one. These Becca blushes, I feel like have lasted through a lot of declutter. So I think I'm just going to declutter them. I love the shades. They're really shimmery, bright blushes, but I never, ever reach for them. This one is blushed copper. This one is tiger lily. And this one is snapdragon. I mean, they're gorgeous, but you know, a lot of blush here. Okay. I'm going to declutter those. I think I'm finally going to declutter this Urban Decay Basquiat collab. And I love, love, love this highlight. All the products in here actually were really nice, but this was limited edition. You can't get this. It's old at this point. So just, I'm just going to, I'm going to let this go. My Viseart blush palette in Rose Coral. I don't know why this isn't in that face palette drawer. <laughs> this one is here. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to hold on to this. I love these colors. Let's see, we have my Chantecaille blushes. This one is Emotion, the B, which I'm going to hold on to. I've been really, really good at picking up blush over here. I've kind of worn away like the wings of the bee, but I'm really trying not to wear away the overspray of the bee. So ridiculous. Anyway, this is Emotion. I'm going to hold on to all of these actually. This one is Joy, which I think I've probably used the most. This one had the horse on it. I don't know if you can see that anymore. This one is Smitten with the elephant. And this one is Grace with the sea turtle. This is like the most natural looking blush for my skin tone in creation. It's like so seamless with my skin. So that one is Grace. So I'm going to hold on to those four. And then I have those Chantecaille duos, which I will definitely be keeping. This one and this one. This by Terry blush, I really, really love, but I think they've discontinued it. Look how beautiful that pink is. I'm gonna hold on to it. I don't know if they've discontinued it or not, but I, I really love it. So I'm gonna hold on to that. So I have a bunch of these Jill Stewart blooming blushes. I actually have some more sitting on top of the drawers over there, but I love these, absolutely love these. This one is number four, Lacy Rose. Sorry, the light's coming in from my blinds. That's what those weird spots are. That's Lacy Rose. This one is number one, Blooming Tulip, which could be my favorite. This one is number three, Mellow Daisy. Keeping all of those. Ugh, I love these, but these are so hard to store and they were limited edition. So this was a Mac Robert Lee Morris, who was like way back in the day, like one of my favorite jewelry designers. And uh, I was so happy to see them do this collab and this packaging is so cool, but I think it's time for me to let these go. This one is rhubarb. And this one was Linda. I have to say, these are really hard for me to let go because I don't see anyone else holding on to these Robert Lee Morse uh, blushes or highlights or anything. I think I'll hold on to one. I'll hold on to rhubarb just for collector purposes and declutter Linda because Linda is a little bit more of a kind of typical blush color that I probably have a thousand times over. My Sisley Orchid blush that I love, will not be getting rid of that. Um, I will declutter this MAC. This is the Extra Dimension blush and Fairly Precious. This is gorgeous, but I never ever reach for it or even think of it. And then I will be holding on to these two M Cosmetics blushes. So this one is Magic Hour and this one is Faded Clementine. All right, let me go ahead and put all of the ones I'm keeping back and hopefully they'll fit a little bit better now. not perfect <laughs> but they fit in here a lot better than they did before all right here is my next blush drawer wow 
I don't really see much that I'm gonna get rid of. I have two of these Melt Digital Dust Duo blushes. This is in Raw Honey. So beautiful, holding on to that. Um, Buzzkill, which is a little bit peachier. I cannot wait to use this in the spring summertime. Beautiful. I have all of these Tom Ford blushes. This is part of their regular line. This one is Gratuitous, and I don't believe I'm gonna be getting rid of any of these. This one is Wicked. This one is Ravish. This one is Frantic Pink, which is probably one of my favorites. This one is Inhibition, and this one is Love Lust, which is probably my other favorite. So holding on to all of those, and then these are all of the Bake Gelee like duos. This one is Exotic Flora. This one is By Coastal. This one is Lissome. And this one is Paradise Lust. So holding on to all of these, I love them all. This Lancome blush in Make It Pop. This is relatively new, so I'm gonna hold on to this. Look how beautiful that shade is. Whoops, had to change my battery, so um, so the angle may look a little different. Anyway, I have two of these older Gucci blushes, and I, I love these, even though they're not available anymore. This one is Spicy Petal. It's such a beautiful blush. I really hope they come back out with some blushes, and this one is Nude Freesia. Oh, so beautiful. So I'm holding onto these, and I love these compacts. I do love the packaging from uh, their previous iteration. Oh, I have two other hourglass blushes. Why don't I have these together? Okay, I'm gonna have to like reorganize once I go through this declutter. So this one is Diffused Heat, gorgeous. And this one is Mood Exposure, which is like the very first blush from Hourglass that I ever purchased. So I think I'm gonna declutter this. It's very old and I have this shade in some of the face palettes. So I'm gonna declutter that. Um, I have this, this is actually a highlighting powder. It's the Marbleized Rose Gold from Edward Bess. But um, yeah, it didn't really work for me as a highlight. It had a little bit too much like pigment. It was a little bit too visible. So I wanted to use it kind of as a blush topper. Anyway, I need to kind of give this more of a chance. So I'm gonna hold on to that. And then this is, oh, this is actually gorgeous. This is the Edward Best Threads of Silk Multi-Use Powder in Chow. And isn't that so pretty? So it's almost like a blush, uh, blush, bronzer, and highlight like all in one. But when you swirl it all together, it's just kind of like a nice shimmery blush. So this is gorgeous. I'm going to hold on to that. So this is the Burberry Natural Blush in Earthy Blush Number no. 7 Light Glow. And this blush, see how it looks really nude in the pan? It actually comes out a lot warmer on my cheek. It's like more of a peach blush. And now that I know that, it's fine. But I got this because I thought it was going to be like a brownish nude. Um, and it's not. But I'm thinking about doing like a full face of Burberry. I just have to figure out what's going on with that line because I feel like I feel like they're retooling it. But I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it. So anyway, I'm going to hold on to this for now. I have two of these um, cheek palettes from Kogendo. This one is number two coral and this one is number one pink. I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter these. I never think to use them, unfortunately. They're really beautiful, but you know, again, I have these shades a thousand times over. And then I have this limited edition NARS 413 Bleaker Blush Duo, which I think I'm going to finally declutter. You know what? I decluttered that impassioned NARS blush, which is like this but I kept Thrill, which is like this. So, so here is Impassioned, which I was going to declutter, um, but I think what I'll do is hold on to Impassioned, declutter this, and then, yeah, so I don't have doubles. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna hold on to this. All right, um, I am going to declutter all of these Marc Jacobs um, Air blushes. These were gorgeous, but these are discontinued. I don't know why really beautiful. This is Kink and Kisses. This one is Flesh and Fantasy, which was my favorite. And then this is Lines and Last Night. So unfortunate, but I'm going to go ahead and declutter those. And then I've got four Charlotte Tilbury blushes that I'm going to hold on to. This is Pillow Talk. This one is Ecstasy. This one is Walk of No Shame. And this one is First Love. All right, and then I have all of my Chanel blushes, which you know 
I'm not going to be able to get rid of uh, most or if any of these. Um, this one is Alizane, which I just got and I really love. Here is Jersey, which is one of my favorites. Here is Golden Sun, which is probably my favorite, but this was limited edition. My friend that works at the Chanel counter actually sent me some that are like for the display. So here is Focha Rosa and here's Malice. Here is Rose Petalant, so beautiful. Here is In Love. Here is Fleur de Lotus. Here is Rose Ekrin. Here is Rose Initial. Here is Rouge Profond. Here is Burnt Coral. And then we have Tweed Cherry Blossom. Here is Tweed Pink. Here is Tweed Beige, another one of my favorites. Here is Rose Bronze. Here is the Camellia Pesh. Here is Reflex. Here's Tweed Coraline. And then here is the Lumiere de Kyoto. And then this is the Healthy Glow Multicolor Duo number two, which I, you know, I never really use. And this was limited edition, so it's not around anymore. And it's actually a little bit hard pressed in here. So I think I'm going to actually declutter this. Okay, I'm gonna put back all the ones that I'm keeping and keep moving on. All right, these fit in here much more nicely. Again, not, not perfect, but much better than before. So that was all of my blushes. So these are all the ones that I am decluttering, which I'm feeling pretty good about. Oh, I just stumbled across my new <laughs> Chanel blush. Let me put this in the drawer. All right, well, these are all the blushes I'm getting rid of. Not great, but better than nothing. So next, let's move over to one of my bronzer drawers. All right, here is my first bronzer drawer. So I'm gonna start over here. I have some of the newer NARS uh, bronzers. So San Juan is the color, or the shade I should say, that I've been using the most. So I'm gonna hold on to this. And then this is Vallarta, which is the matte shade. And I really prefer the non-matte version, it's more of like a satin, so I'm going to declutter this. I have this Nabla Skin Bronzing in Ambra, which is really beautiful, so I'm gonna hold on to that, it's relatively new. I have all of these Kosas bronzers. I am going to declutter the Deep. That one is too deep for my skin tone, uh, but you guys know how much I love these, so I'm gonna hold on to the Light and the Medium. And then I have some La Mer bronzers. So let's see. Here is one from many years back. These are all limited edition. Um, this one, let me see. This one is the most recent one and I did not like this one that much. It, I don't know, I just didn't, I couldn't like pick up enough of the highlight. It was just a very strange pan shape too, or I should say like the shades were um, created strangely like the blush was so small anyway i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this i am also going to declutter this one this one is very very old and it was the same deal like you couldn't really just pick up one product without getting the other and i don't know anyway i'm gonna declutter this one this one was my favorite this came out not last year but the year before and it was just beautiful because you could kind of just swirl your brush into all of these and they were all Kind of a bronze so it just worked so i'm gonna hold on to that one here is um my terracotta light and light warm this is a really beautiful subtle bronzer i'm gonna hold on to that this is the terracotta matte um, sculpting powder in claire light this is relatively new so i'm gonna hold on to this as well i have i don't know why this is in here because i have a bunch of my other chanel bronzers elsewhere but this is that duo that i really love i think this is not available anymore. This was limited edition and it was available for a while, but I think it's finally gone, but I'm gonna hold on to this because I really love it. This Guerlain Terracotta face palette, I should actually put in my face palette drawer 
Um, but I really like this one. I like the two uh, bronzer shades. They're like fairly neutral, a little bit on the warmer side, but they look very natural on my skin tone. These two products are nice. So I'm gonna hold on to this and actually put this into my uh, face palette drawer. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. This is actually really, really old. I don't even know if you can see like how I'm almost probably hitting pan on the highlight there, but this is really old and I actually have a newer version of this, I think in my backup drawer. Yes, I have this one. This was a uh, one that came out for the holidays and this is a brand new one. So I think I'm gonna bust this one out because I do love this product. Oh, it came with a little brush too. And I'm going to declutter this one just because it's so old. I think I purchased this before I moved to Las Vegas. So this is probably around five years old. <laughs> so time to let this one go. Okay, the Charlotte Tilbury bronzers. Um, I'm gonna hold on to both of these. So I have fair and medium, but really, you know, I just use medium. The fair I'll use occasionally, but it barely shows up on my skin tone. It is like really, really fair, but I'm gonna hold on to them. It is fairly new and maybe I'll come across another use for this. But anyway, I have fair and light and I'm gonna keep both of those. And then I have this By Terry um, Compact Expert Dual Powder, I think that's what it's called, yeah, in Four Beige Nude. I love this uh, product. I love the beige um, shade on the outside for bronzer. I love the little highlight in the middle. It's just gorgeous. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Uh, this is my new bronzer from Le Bouche Rouge that I'm really enjoying. So I'm gonna hold on to this. And then I have a bunch of these little palettes here. Let's see. So I have a Cogendo Duo and I really like the powders in there. I also have the Kevin Aquan Duo. I think I'm going to declutter this one because it's really, really old. And I think I actually prefer the Cogendo more. And this for travel is just a much sturdier Okay, so I'm gonna hold on to that. And then I have this um, Kevin O'Quan Neo bronzer, which is actually just a really beautiful like nude blush. I should actually move this to my blush drawer. I'm gonna do that. And then I have this Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow, which I do like the bronze. The glow is okay, but I really like the bronze in here. Yeah, it's much warmer than any like little contour palettes that I have. All right, so I'll keep that also. Um, I have the Chantecaille Le Serena Bronzer Highlighter Duo. I love this. I have a bunch of Givenchy powders here. This is the uh, bronzing powder in 01. So this is like a baked gelée product, and this is newer than these two. So this one is the Sunkissed Highlighting Powder in 4.5. This is like a marbleized powder and then this one is in 2.5 which is like a more subtle shade so I'm gonna keep all of these I really like these powders this I've had for a while and this one is like I said relatively new and I don't really haven't gotten that much of a chance to use this so anyway, I'm gonna hold on to all of those and then I have these Tom Ford skin illuminating powder duos this is in mood light which is just gorgeous I love this I'm gonna hold on to that and then I have it in number seven incandescent which is more of like a highlight and blush so I'm actually gonna move this to my blush or highlight drawer one or the other maybe my highlight drawer and then this one is 06 Flicker, and this one is actually just too deep for my skin tone. I purchased it, you know, hoping I could maybe use it for eyeshadow or something else just because I love the um, formula so much, but you know, I just don't reach for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. And then I have a bunch of my limited edition Guerlain bronzers. So I don't know if I'll get rid of any of these, but this one is Golden Bee, which I really, really love. This has like a beautiful kind of golden sheen to it. It's gorgeous. I have three of the terracottas. This one, I don't know if they have different names. Oh yeah, this one is Brazilian Beach. This one is the Rue de Zil. And this one is, I cannot read it, but I think this is, yeah, this is the Paisley one. Oh, and I have this Laura Mercier uh, Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Bronze 02. This is like one of the very first bronzers I ever purchased and I love it, but this is, wow, probably like six years old. So I think, huh, I think I should let this one go. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that. And let's see, I have more Guerlain Terracotta 
bronzers. And the collector in me is going to hold on to all of these. Here's another one. All right, so let me go ahead and put these back. Wow, I have a lot more room in here. Um, oh, that's great, okay. Um, I do have that Chanel one that I'm gonna put in the other drawer, so I'll probably have to clean up these drawers too, just like my blush ones, just kind of rearrange everything so all the same brands are together. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this back and bring the next bronzer drawer out. All right, so my Tom Ford bronzers. This is the ultimate bronzer in O2 Terra. And these ultimate bronzers, these are like the baked ones. This was the second formula that they came out with and it was not as good as the first and it is definitely not as good as the most recent formula they came out with. Um, I have bronzing powder in Gold Lust. This was the first bronzer that came out, just typical pressed powder or whatever. So I think I'm actually going to declutter this because yeah, it just doesn't work well. And I'm gonna hold on to that. And then I have the latest bronzer formula, which is the Glow Bronzer in Goldust and Terra. And you guys know how much I love these. These are just gorgeous, gorgeous bronzer. Really easy to use. They blend beautifully. They're like just a creamy powder, just gorgeous. So I'm gonna hold on to those. I have this Dior bronzer from the Color Games collection that came out this past summer. Really love it, I'm gonna hold on to that. I have these two Vesca bronzers. This one is the Santorini one. I feel like I've just shown these two a lot lately. <laughs> and then this is the Rio one. It's almost like the Charlotte Tilbury where I feel like this one's too light. Um, well, this one's a little bit deeper than the Charlotte Tilbury medium. But anyway, I feel like I'm the most ideal would be kind of something in between, but I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to both of these since I love the formula so much. And then I have a bunch of uh, Chanel bronzers. This is the one that came out with the Le Beige collection. And yeah, there was like a highlight version and then this, and I really, really love this bronzer. It has like this beautiful like golden sheen to it. So I'm gonna hold on to that. It was limited edition, so you probably won't see me actually use it on camera too much, but I do love it. Here is the Le Beige powder. I got a deeper shade just to use as bronzer, but um, I decluttered my like new natural shade that I would use and it, I don't know, I just don't like this powder that much. It's a little bit hard pressed, it's a little bit dry. It's just not my favorite. So I'm gonna actually declutter this as well. Here is the duo and you saw me, was it in my blush drawer? I had another duo, it was like a highlight and then a bright red blush on the bottom. So I got these two products at the same time and these are super old and I never use them. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this as well. And then this is the Healthy Glow Luminous Multicolor Powder in Medium. And I really like this powder. It's very, very soft, so it picks up easily, it blends easily. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of this too because it's just it's just old and I've had it forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I think these last two bronzers I've had since I lived in New York, so very, very old. Um, here is the Ilia uh, Night Light Bronzing Powder in Drawn In. And this is relatively new and I really like the formula and the color of this, so I'm gonna hold on to this. The Gucci bronzer, so I have it in the shade three, which is definitely a little bit too deep for me, and I really don't like the scent of this. I do like the powder though, I think it's a very creamy powder that blends really nicely. I'm gonna hold on to this for now, because this is a good one to use like when I'm doing a full face of Gucci or something, um, I do pull this out, so I'm gonna hold on to this for now. Uh, my Sicily like gel powder, I love, love, love this bronzer, so this is going nowhere. This Sicily powder in bronze, I love, so this I'm keeping as well. My Clinique um, Powder Pop Flower Bronzer in Solar Pop, I'm definitely holding on to. I love this bronzer. It's so beautiful, it's a baked gelé, it's a great color, it just uh, blends beautifully, I love it. Definitely holding on to all of my <laughs> Chantecaille uh, bronzers. So this one is in Goa, which I love. This is probably my favorite one. This one is in Serena which I also love. And then these are, I actually don't know if these are part of their line anymore, but these are their Compact Soleil bronzers. This is in Capri, and this one is in St. Bart's. And these actually make for 
beautiful like natural blushes as well so I'm gonna hold on to these and then I do have this um, candle glow powder from Laura Mercier they actually just recently sent this to me and they sent it in the shade number three which uh, turns out to be like a really beautiful like subtle bronze for me and this powder is so soft and beautiful so I'm gonna hold on to this oh this Giorgio Armani uh, Sun Fabric sheer bronzer in 100 I think I need to let this go I love this bronzer I think one of the very first bronzers like this and the Laura Mercier were like some of the very first bronzers that I purchased in fact this is the second one Anyway, it's a whole long story, but I'm going to declutter this because it's just super old. My Bobbi Brown bronzer in Stone Street. I love this bronzer. It is like the perfect tone. I'm not really into matte bronzers, but I love this one for some reason. So I'm going to hold on to this. I also have the Elvis Duran one, which is a little bit deeper. So I'm going to hold on to that. And oh, the Edward Best Ultra Luminous Bronzer in Daydream. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous bronzer. Definitely holding on to that. And we have another old Gucci product. So this is from, you know, the previous line. And this is an Indian Sand. I think I can let this one go. Yeah, I think I can let this one go. I don't, um, I don't think of this. I definitely don't reach for it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that. Here's the Jennifer Lopez Inglot collab. This palette is reusable. So I'm gonna hold on to this until I can find something else to replace this bronzer. I'm just gonna hold on to it because I'm, I would hold on to this case anyway. You know what I mean? So if I'm gonna hold on to the case, I may as well just hold on to the powder that's in there. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Um, I have this Becca Sunrise Waves bronzer. I really enjoy this. It has like two of their highlighters on either side, um, but I'm gonna declutter this because I never, I really I actually like forgot I had it. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that. I have the Sculpting Powder from Kevin O'Quan in Light. I'm gonna hold on to this. I have my Lila B bronzing duo that I love. I'm gonna hold on to this. My Clay de Poe bronzing duo. Gonna hold on to that definitely. Um, the Samantha March Ofra Bronzer Duo in uh, River. And this one is a little bit too, I don't know if you can tell, it's a little bit too warm for me. So I thought maybe I would use it as a blush, but I never really do. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. And then I have this RMS Luminizing Powder in Madeira Bronzer. And this shade is, oh, well, this compact is really hard to open. This shade, it's so interesting because it's so much deeper than a lot of the bronzers that I use, but it's so cool toned. I'm gonna hold on to this for a little bit longer just because the shade is so unique. I have the Chantecaille HD Perfecting Powder in a bronze. This is a very natural bronze. I'm gonna hold on to that. The, oh, the Westman Atelier Beauty Butter Powder Bronzer. This developed Harpan fairly quickly, but I actually didn't mind because it was so creamy that I felt like when I first got it, I was picking up too much product and it developing the Harpan kind of slowed that down. But, um, wow, I never really use this. You know what? No, I'm gonna hold on to this because I'm seeing the rest here and I think I'm gonna declutter this Amore Pacific powder. I just never ever think to use it it's beautiful um, it's a little bit light it doesn't do that much on my skin tone even with this deeper stripe there um, but yeah I just never think to use it so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that and then I have the two Victoria Beckham bronzers um, that she did with Estee Lauder and I I just love these so much this one is Java Sun and then the other one is Saffron Sun your saffron sun which is a little bit lighter but these have been you know not in production and i told myself that i would hold on to these until she created uh, bronzers for her own line so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna hold on to these i really do love them i love the packaging yeah i'm gonna hold on to these still don't know what to do about this westman atelier bronzer i think i'm going to declutter it i think i'm going to declutter it i love her products this one was okay. Like I said, I think I got it to work finally, but I really never reach for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. All right, let me put everything uh, back that I'm keeping. All right, so that's it for this bronzer drawer fitting so much better in here. And here are all of the bronzers that I am decluttering. All right, so this is what I am decluttering today. This is actually, wow, a lot more 
than I thought I would be able to let go of. So pretty proud of myself. So I'm going to try and find good homes for these products since I can disinfect them pretty easily. They are powder products. And yeah, donate what I can to Project Beauty Share. So that is it for today's declutter. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, definitely subscribe down below if you enjoy declutters because I will definitely be going through the rest of my um, collection probably through to the end of January. I'm hoping to get this done this month. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.